uh, this mesh we're going to create is actually one of my favorite one for this video series. Shift A to adding a cube, like what we did, and then go to the edit mode and right click, subdivide. We can just do whatever you want, you think, with maybe four cuts on each side. And then what we can do here on the blender, we have one, go to the face selection mode, let's go to the poke faces. So once you select everything, then we're gonna just gonna go with face, do the poke faces, which is really convenient. So it's actually getting all the small faces to getting uh, across. So this is exactly what we want, right? So now basically we can just select all these vertices and select all that and, and it can extrude it out and go to the side view and holding control key when you extrude it G and Y holding control key just gonna snap on the, the grid okay so one or two grid so that would be good so I'm just gonna stay with one which is negative point one and then you can do that on all the sides same thing over here so you can just basically done that. So G, X, and holding control to snap on the grid. So you can definitely finish the rest of these. After you've done that, you are going to use the bevel to kind of bevel all these vertices just, did, just like what we did earlier. And this is just one quick tip that I want to let you guys know. You don't have to do this type of uh, operations for this. All right? cool and uh, yeah so uh, I'm just gonna finish this and uh, give you a quick result all right okay now I'm just gonna save on one side so that should be good because I want to make it flat so right now I'm just gonna hit uh, number two edge selection mode and hit the Q key to select the sharp edges and then I'm just gonna go with the bevel, Control B to bevel it. We're gonna do two segment, and then we're gonna do a small bevel and sharp stay shape stay as one. And we're gonna go with arc. Okay, so that is the pretty much what we're gonna do. Looks like this. All right. If we're going to adding a subsurface modifier, Control Two to actually make the whole thing looks really cool. So think about this. If you put this somewhere as a prop or you can line up a, a group of this cube like this, it can be pretty cool scene, right? As a background. So we can just uh, quickly go over the view as a render. So, all right, so that is pretty decent look, right? And uh, yeah, so either way, you can choose which way to model this, but this is going to be a pretty good practice for you guys. Or you can try something different. Control uh, Shift A to adding a lattice. Now we have a lattice going on here. Then we can hit S key to to kind of scale it up and just right right here about to cover this whole thing. And then I'm gonna uh, select this whole cube and Control A to apply the all transform to in case everything's working. Then I'm gonna select this lattice. And then I'm going to uh, control P to parent a lattice deform. Uh, immediately, if you go to click here, it automatically adding a uh, modifier called lattice deform. So we don't need to do anything right now because we already set up properly. So what I need to do is to select the lattice, which is the cage, and to go back to here, this tiny icon. You don't have that but now you do you can change the resolution which means you can actually getting more control point and if you are a photographer uh, it's getting into CG and this I'm considered lattice as a liquefied tool you know we can actually just go to the tap tool so we can select certain points so really doing uh, some uh, deformations and to on certain areas but anyway that's just my understanding and then what you can do here is basically you can just select the top uh, vertices for on the lattice which is the cage you can hit S key to shrink it down and select the bottom part Hit S to scale it up so right now if I'm hiding the lattice that could be something that really cool to show off on your models and do something creative and uh, it works very well, right? So if I'm actually under the render mode 
and having an HDRI so you can see it has pretty decent details and also textures involved with it. So this is everything I want to share in this video and I hope you enjoy this small quick tutorials uh, to doing the modeling and the topology inside Blender. And if you do like this video, please make sure you hit likes and share or subscribe my channel and feel free to leave comments or questions under the comment section. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.